Welcome back to Russian Roulette Soap Special. So far, we have seen Shobna turn up, tune in, and sadly drop out. There are four players left standing, but only one of them can play for the roulette jackpot. Another celebrity is about to leave the building as we play the round we call Round Two. <laughs> This round, the money goes up. The questions are now worth 100 of your Earth pounds. So, <laughs> thanks, Danny. Here we go. What W is a capsule of New Zealand and a type of footwear? Oh. Sally. Wellington. Well done. Oh, yeah. Who was the first man to run a mile in under four minutes? Johnny. Roger Bannister. It was. Of <laughs> Name the younger daughter of Kevin and Sally Webster. <laughs> Sally. Sophie. Correct. Fino, Amontillado and Pale Cream are all types of what alcoholic drink, Sean? Sherry. They are. Blueberry Hill was a US hit for Fats Who? Sally. Domino. Yes. Which TV cook is also a director of Norwich City Football Club? Sean. Oh, Delia. She is. Delia Smith. Precisely how old was Adrian Mole when he wrote his first secret diary, Sally? 13 and three quarters. That's right. Located in San Francisco Bay, which island prison closed in 1963, Johnny? Alcatraz. It did. What M is an island that gave its name to a cocktail and a Woody Allen film? Sean. Oh, no, no, no. Manhattan. Yes, you get that just. Sean's got immunity. How is the company International Business Machines better known? Sally. IBM. Well done, it is. Name the Scottish hero portrayed by Mel Gibson in Grey Park. Stephen. Wallace. Correct. How is mild-mannered reporter Clark Kent also known, Sally? Superman. That is absolutely right. Which major cricket ground is located in St John's Wood, London? Johnny. Lords. Yes. According to the proverb, still waters run, what? Sally. Deep. They do. A.A. A. Milne created which fictional bear, Sally? Winnie the Pooh. He absolutely did. Which artist painted the apostles onto the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Sally? Leonardo da Vinci. No, it was Michelangelo, oh, <laughs> that other one. The Euro was introduced on the 1st of January in which year, Sean? 2002. Yes. Who played the title role in the film Mrs. Doubtfire? Johnny. Uh, Robin Williams. Oh, yes, I think oh, we can give Johnny that. Yes, very close, Sean. Just about one immunity for the second time. But Johnny, you were in there. The right answer is Robin Williams. Just as the gong went, which means the time is up at the end of that round, and the roulette jackpot now stands at two thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. And Johnny was the last person to get the question right, which means he enjoyed being absolutely safe. Sean, very frustrating because you could have got it for a second time. I know, I know, I know. I thought I was in there. He did well though at the end. Mm. Very quick. Now, Steve, what's happening? I only got one right. I just wasn't quick enough on the buzzer. Get it together, Steve. I will, I promise. Try. <laughs> Come try on, Sally. Have you seen Billy Smoke's face? <laughs> no, no, look at his face. <laughs> yes, that's because he's safe. But come and join me and feel the power of my lever, Johnny. Come over here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Can we unlock the drop zones, please? OK, Johnny. OK. Make it happen. You ready, folks? Oh, Johnny, don't. We're ready. Don't close oh. your eyes as you go down. Steve, Steve. Me. Me. Oh, oh, me. Oh, me. Sean. Oh, oh, I think it might be. Me. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, it's all right. So, that wetness around his eyes is just an allergy. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh. Gone, but not That's forgotten. Amazing. Good old... What's his face? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep it moving on, everyone, as we play round three. <laughs> now, so far, you've won £2,250, but this is your last chance to increase the roulette jackpot. In this round, the questions are worth £200 each. I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. What name links the three-wheeled car in Batman's best mate? Sally. Robin. It does. Spell the word immunity. Johnny. Ah! <laughs> Go on, Billy um, I double M. Yes. U N I T Y. Correct. Johnny's got immunity. A patronising clap there for a simple spelling. TV chef Rick Stein specialises in which type of cookery? Sally. 
Fish. Seafood. Seafood. Oh, go on. Seafood except fish. Oh. But we'll accept it. I know, it's very complex. We're accepting it. Goodness sake, getting our petition together already. Get Who co-wrote the series Faulty Towers with Connie Booth? Sally. John Cleese. He did. Aspirin is derived from which tree, the oak or the willow? Stephen. Oak. Oh, I love it was the willow. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives at number five, number five Coronation Street? Johnny. Jack and Vera. Bless Battersby. Oh. Or Kirk Sutherland. I don't live on the street. No, I know, it's tricky. Once you're going to know door names, for God's sake. Sally's got to be new to so far. Which part of an orange shares its name with the type of helmet worn in the jungle? Pit Johnny. Pit, pit, pit yes. Helmet. The European Commission is based in which Belgian city? Johnny. Brussels. It is. Oh. It's very good, you know. <laughs> Sold at the fun fair, how is American cotton candy better known in the UK, Johnny? Candy floss. It absolutely oh. is. You're correct. In which TV soap did a character die before emerging from the shower a year later, claiming it had all been a dream, Sally? Dallas. Yes. The people of which island were awarded the George Cross in April 1942? Sally. Malta. Well done. Face, Hannibal, Murdoch and B.A. Barrett were members of which fictional TV group, Stephen? A.T. Hey! In the rhyme, what is Tuesday's child fool of oh, fun? Yes! <laughs> we have got that as well. Time is up. I don't believe that. <laughs> yes, he won immunity. Well, I could see you anxious to get here to the lever, so I won't delay it any longer. Come and join me by it. He's rubbing his hands in anticipation, so can we unlock their drop zones, please? OK, you want immunity? Enjoy it by making it so. Good luck, you two. Oh, cheers. Come on. Go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Got noises. He's great made up for you. Oh, look at all. Oh, it's going to slow down. Starting, oh, no. it's beginning. Oh. It's me, it's me! It oh. might be, it might well be. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good night and adieu to Sally. Will she ever live this moment down in the Rovers? I sincerely hope not. But congratulations to you both. The roulette jackpot now stands at £4,250, but only one of you, as you well know, can take that money home for your charity. That's why, gentlemen, it's time to go head to head. OK, it's time to get very serious. Well, actually, as serious as you can get being on a quiz show where celebrities basically just fall through the floor. But uh, before we ask some questions, I'd like to deliver a moving speech to the nation by your lecterns. Only joking. I'll ask you a question and you write down your answers, but beware, both of you, okay? If either of you get a question wrong, you've only got a 50-50 chance of survival because three of the drop zones are now active. So if you're both wrong, you're both up for the drop and one of you will go down. Don't blame me, I only work here and run the show, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Which of these cities hosted the Olympic Games first, Moscow or Montreal? If you write down your answers, thank you. Moscow or Montreal? Which one of them hosted the Olympic Games first? Johnny having a bit of a think. Steve on a bit of a high from his A-team answer. He's pretty confident he knows this. Johnny's just finished now. OK, if you're both happy with what you've written, can you now reveal your answers to me, please? Oh, no. Oh, both got different answers. I wonder who could be right. Could it be Steve or you, Johnny, who have answered quite a lot, it's fair to say, Steve, yeah. right this evening? Yeah, he's been a lot better That's than I why have. you're wrong again. <laughs> yes, yeah, it was Montreal, 1976. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry, darling. It was nice while it lasted, but Johnny gets to join me by my lever. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at the little sweetheart's face. It's not easy for him, though, because, you know, it takes a lot of power of concentration to get that voice deeper. He can't answer the questions as well. <laughs> In the meantime, can we unlock the drop zones, please? Johnny, it is a laughing matter. Make it so. You ready, Steve? Yeah, Got any please. final words? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going, I know I am. Just got to wait all alone. I oh, know, his little face. Look at his little hands clasped. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh my goodness. Well, I don't believe that. Yep, that surely must be the closest shave <laughs> you've had today. Because you're still in the running. That means we continue with the next question. <laughs> Johnny, if you can move back to your place, thank you. Okay, next question. Which book was written first, James and the Giant Peach or A Clockwork Orange? James and the Giant Peach or A Clockwork Orange? Which was the first one to be written? Hmm, um, bit of a guess, isn't it, Steve? Yep. <laughs> I can't be able to the say one, that. The one you like the sound of, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Which book was written first, James and the Giant Peach or A Clockwork Orange? We'll see in a second. Tops are on the pens. That means you've finished writing. If you're happy with that, can you reveal the answers to me now, please? Oh, just abbreviated with orange, James and the Giant Peach. Now, Steve, what makes you think that that could be right, given your history on the show? <laughs> well, you know me. Um, yeah, tell me guess. how you got to that. I just guessed it. Yeah. Well, you guessed right. Oh, yes! oh no. <laughs> I James and the Giant Peach, 1961. Johnny, that was the wrong answer, which started means... Out, started out with a P. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter, because okay. you're playing alone, and Steve is enjoying himself. By my lever, come and join me. <laughs> Can we unlock the drop zones, please? OK, enjoy the Steve. Make it happen. <laughs> Perhaps some actor deep breathing exercises would help. That's it. Mm. Oh! oh, no. oh! <laughs> he didn't think he was going, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> oh. Well, there you go, Steve. Like Gloria Gaynor, you did survive. You are the last man officially standing. Well done for getting this far. Now, the £4,250 is safe, and that goes to your charity. Oh, no matter, Yeah, that's, that is nice. And no matter what happens next, where is it going? Uh, a plastic in the mania. All He's right. setting up a trust in the North West because he's only one in London. Oh, well, that's brilliant. Yeah. I'm sure they'll... Yeah, that's very good. Very good news for them, but it doesn't end here, Steve, you see, because we're going to give you the chance um, to increase that jackpot later in the show. But to do it, you'll have to face Emmerdale's winner in a final playoff. Do you think you can handle that? I should be all right. I think we're guessing was all right, Josh. Yeah, I think it outfit. might be. I think a bit more luck <laughs> might see you through to the end. So Stephen will be back later in the show to take on the winner of the next game. But who will that be? I can promise it's one of those five faces on loan from Crime Watch. See you soon. <laughs>